what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob and i'm bryce and today we are back with the series finale of baby reindeer this is episode seven last episode was a very heavy one the last half of it was just donnie at uh what i think was the the fat like final of his comedy show like competition that he's been in throughout the show and i mean it just did not go well quickly it kind of seemed like he lost the crowd and then he just went spiraling i don't know he just started talking about all the events that have taken place throughout the show and his past uh with that writer yeah just kind of laid it all out there for the whole crowd to hear and we both agreed we think it's probably a good thing that he told someone about it maybe not the best place to do that but yeah i I feel like he's definitely hopefully gonna gonna feel better at least after having that off his chest but like i said in the last episode i just really want a positive ending for donnie in this finale i mean we know that like he wrote this show and like he starred in it so i mean he's he's gone somewhere now so i i hope that they they show like a little bit of happiness for him at the end of this yeah i'm I'm just pumped to wrap this show up i just want to see how it ends and yeah just like him not with this burden in his life like all day every day i'm still confused how it's gonna happen um i i don't think i really don't see it being like a arrest type of thing but i could be wrong i mean i'm pretty sure like the real life martha is not arrested so that's why i say that but i just don't know what would like turn her off so much to stalking him anymore that he hasn't tried yet maybe him giving that speech gave him the confidence to to do something though i mean he's kind of like a lot of last episode he was like telling terry like let's just let's just like lay down for like lie down for a bit go under the radar maybe delete your social media like maybe now he'll just own everything own Harry own just his life back just take his life back so we will see um but i think that speech was definitely very important for him and probably will be the catalyst for whatever decision he makes this episode that ends up working out to quit or end the stalking all right guys well that's pretty much it before we do get into this episode if you have liked all these baby reindeer reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we have our patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box make sure to check all those out and with all that being said we're gonna get right into the episode baby reindeer series finale episode seven let's do it that's what abuse does to you you know it made me this sticking plastic for all of life's weirdos this Oh, oh, on YouTube. Wow. Oh, comedian has epic breakdown. It's called. In a matter of weeks, I went from a walking ghost to the center of a media storm. Wow. Positive comments. Oh, wow. Podcasts, radio shows, bigger gigs, better crowds. Everyone suddenly wanted a piece of me. And my career sprung into surprising wow. is, he go, is he gonna go back you think into like the props i don't know i kind of hope not i couldn't keep up with it all everything that was happening it was like my life began three decades in and all i needed to do to achieve it was to be honest with myself it's funny how things work out who was he emailing there was it i think it was like a status type thing uh. i wonder what it was in me that kept it in for so long what it wasn't me that felt so afraid. Hello? I wasn't gonna speak to you ever again. No. I cannot express how furious I am about the way you shafted me. And just like that, at the oh my god. Time, during the most important moment of my professional life, Martha got my number. Oh, I think he just put it out the there. Fuck could I let her get my number? Oh, he, she hasn't had his number the whole time. No. Nope. Huh? Just get a new get a new phone number, dude actually an easy problem to solve go to your phone store swap out the sim card you're good to go bro i just had to get to my parents before she did i don't know whether you've seen this video of me that's been going around online no but i'm not on social media anymore your dad isn't a fucking moron (laughs) that's hilarious it's this video where i uh 
I confess a lot of things. I don't think I'm, I'm straight anymore. It's these past few years have been really difficult. And I think you're gonna have a choice now between a bye son or a, or a gay son, whatever I become, or a dead one. Damn, bro. Ugh. I was raped by a man. Oh my God. I'm fine. All right, I promise. But I spoke about it in this online video and now everyone knows. I just feel so fucking embarrassed. And the fact that Martha forced him into having this conversation is fucking crazy. As a man. Oh, Tony, of course, sweetheart. You're our son, whatever happened. I just feel less of one. Dad hasn't said one word yet. Would you see me as less of one? What? Would you see me as less of a man? Well, no. I grew up in the Catholic Church. Oh. Sorry, I, I, I don't understand. Just know we are always here. Oh, but I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so fucked up, bro. That's so sad. I slept 12 hours that night and woke up to a new dawn. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh. oh my god <laughs> You can block her number too well, She's calling as an unknown number Oh You can't ring somebody that many times in a day surely oh. No, you, you can't, but obviously with unknown numbers, it's very difficult to prove who it is that's actually calling. So what you're saying is I can call anyone I meet as many times as I want, and as long as I withhold my number, I'm free to do as I please. What is up? She knows, like, the laws. Like, like this is BS. How'd she get your number anyway? She'd stopped emailing, so I sent her out of office, and it must have replied to her. It's got to hurt. Giving it away so easily after managing to keep it from her for so long. <laughs> Dude. It might make sense to keep your number and wait for her to say something that we can use to expedite this case. She's leaving you numerous voicemails a day. Chances are there'll be something there we can use. I thought he just said about using an unknown number. You can't prove. I don't know. Over the next few months, Martha's voice was months. the podcast of my life. You surrendered to me that day, didn't you? By the water. Yeah, I, I started to download them. Log and categorize them. Color code them into different emotions. What? Subjects. That's that's a lot. Over time, I found myself relating to her all over again. The way she managed to distract me from all the things that I'd lost. Ah. Uh... So you and your family, you keep your trap shut, yeah? You're on your final warning. I fucking mean it this time. Because I've got a raging PMT where I could just about stab anyone in England, in Britain. Come on. I oh, mean, no, that's got to be it for you, dude. Martha was arrested the next day yeah. and charged with three counts of stalking. Okay, okay, okay. You are charged with the harassment of Mr. Donald Dunn between the dates of the 14th of August 2015. It's been two years of harassment. Are you guilty or not guilty? Guilty. <sighs> it's finally over. Oh. Is he crying? He's about to, yeah. Save your tears for another day, Donnie. I think I've heard that somewhere. Mm. And there, in that courtroom, was the last time I ever set eyes on her. Thank goodness. It's over.
Is he writing the show now? That's the first, isn't that what the first thing he said about her? I felt sorry for her. First thing I felt. France is cold. It's pretty concerned about you. Do you want to come in? Yeah. What the fuck? It's Martha's stuff. I thought she'd been sentenced. She has, but I'm still trying to make sense of it. And how's that going? I'm getting closer. Oh. I still have all the voicemails from when I downloaded them for the police. See, I've split them into all these folders, capturing all Dude, the Dude, he needs to, get, like, move he's, on. Yeah, he needs to separate himself from this. Because when you see them all splayed out like this, you really do get a sense of just how mad she was. And she, that, that madness is creeping its way into you, bro. You look awful. Feel awesome. <laughs> I want you to move back to my mum's place. Sort yourself out a bit. I can't. I've signed a lease here. No, I'll pay for it. Damn, Keely. I can't have you go on living like this. Having gone through all of that. Very cool. What a real one. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. She's so cool. I forgot to say, I left a little something for you in the cupboard, along with a couple of bits and bobs I found while I was clearing out your room. Oh, the jacket she gave mm. him. Oh, yeah, Hangman Harry. Oh, that's the script he had for the writer. No. Oh, that's... I, that would not be cool to look at. Oh! I was wondering if I could come in. What what is he gonna do? I don't here? know, dude. I'm nervous. Would you like a I mean this guy definitely saw the video. Right? Yeah, I'd assume so. Sweet video, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh, I thought it was bright. Really bright. Mm. You guys you come fucked. Back with me. Oh, it won't be like last time. Don't believe that. We're bringing Common Mouth back for a reboot. Probably be terrible, but we're staffing up at this very moment. No. No way. I love that. Pro. I don't think I like that at all. To be honest. No. Don't tell me he's going to listen to an, a Martha audio thing to calm down. Let me get a Diet Coke. That's the thing I've always wondered, really. Why people meet. Why people fall in love. That kind of thing. That brings me to the baby reindeer thing. <laughs> As I think you're probably wondering. What does it mean? I had this... We cuddly toy when I was young. This old photo of me sitting with this paper hat on my head and this baby reindeer beside me. This reindeer was this cuddly, fluffy thing. I don't think she's ever talked about her past. You are the spit of that reindeer. It means so much to me. You mean so much to me. I've got to go. Ugh, I, just, I just don't want you to listen to these anymore, man. I'm glad we got a little context about Martha, but... You okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm fine, sorry. Here you go. Oh, thank you. It's, it's on the house. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, it's starting just like how 
Oh, Sorry, it is on the house. I think I've left my wallet at home. Don't worry about it. It's on me. Thank you, Justin Timberlake. You All see right. it? Yeah. Okay. Don't, Donnie. It's history just repeated itself right there. Oh. Well, that's it for Baby Reindeer. It was definitely not fully the ending I was expecting. It's like a pretty satisfying ending, but definitely not fully. She did get obviously sentenced in a five year restraining order, but at the same time, he is still like obsessing over Martha. And we saw he listens to her, her voicemails and his wall was covered. So it's definitely very much a big part of his life still, at least at that point. I'm guessing nowadays it's not. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like with that, maybe he'll always carry her some in, in some way. I mean, I think a lot of the, the topics in this show and the things he dealt with are very, very complicated and kind of hard to relate to if you haven't went through them yourself. And they are pretty unique situations. So um, it's it's probably very easy to be like, oh, I would have, I would never think about her again or I would never talk to that that guy again but i mean at the end of the day it's it's his story it's how he deals with things so you can't really like judge you just kind of have to to watch and, and see how he handles it and that's what we did but yeah i mean overall it was definitely an interesting show Ho pretty horrifying at times because it's a very real thing and if you like really think about it the farthest it went was like she got violent, I think, twice with them. So it's not like anyone was like killed or murdered or anything. So it's like a very, very real possibility to happen in life and does happen. So I think that's what makes it a little bit scarier. And I don't know. It's interesting. Just her POV too. Like I'm sure we just saw the tip of the iceberg with what she went through. And there's probably a lot of things that happened in her life that were traumatic that led her to do that type of thing even though it is like inexcusable but yeah i'm glad we we got around to watching this definitely not a show i'd watch again willingly and i was just thinking i feel i feel a little bad for martha's actress because i'm sure like people like if i i've only seen her in this so if i saw her in real life without seeing Martha, anything else i'd be like baby reindeer. stay away stay away so um but no i'm sure she's a great person uh i'm definitely gonna look more into the story see maybe what was completely like accurate and maybe what was dramatized up a little bit and also i know there's interviews out there with the real martha so i might have to go watch those just see just see what was up but yeah like i said it was a good watch and uh, i'm glad we finally got around to it yeah i'm, I'm glad to be done with baby reindeer uh, I, as much as I did like it, I, I did enjoy it. It was definitely a hard, hard watch. Really difficult to get through. I honest to God don't know if I would have made it all the way through if uh, I was watching it by myself, but it gave me a very just anxious feeling the whole time. And I mean, I think horrifying was a good word. A lot, a lot of the moments and things that happened in the show were quite horrifying and this episode I, this episode made me cry oh my god that that scene at the beginning where donnie is telling his parents about what happened to him and then his dad opening up to him oh my god that absolutely crushed my soul i think there's still a tear on the table from from my face but yeah it, it's just such an interesting interesting show because it, it is true i i also want to learn about how much of it was actually like 100% accurate and how much was like dramatized but I feel like it's like Richard Gadd is in such a unique position because I feel like there's not a lot of shows like this like it's definitely you can't unique. like you, you can't, can't replicate yeah. it you no. can't anticipate it either no, it, it just happens mm -hmm. it's just something that happened but it, it, also I feel like the way that he told the story was really well done I, I do yeah. think that uh, the way it was paced and just the way that it was told was creative and made it entertaining. Yeah, and I wanted to add too, like it's sad too because he was able to make it a show, but also he was he had aspirations of being in the entertainment industry yeah. his whole life. So like, sure he was able to tell this, but a lot of people go through it. They're just normal people that don't have 
these type of dreams and don't probably want to tell it and he was just i guess lucky enough to to get it out there but a lot of people definitely go through this and just can't tell everyone and you know make a show out of it and whatnot but this probably did help a lot of those people as well at the end of the day so all right guys well that's pretty much it for this episode if you have liked all of our baby reindeer reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we got our patreon discord all of our socials our second channel and our po box make sure to check all those out and with all that being said we'll see you next time in our next show peace out